it's needed for Liquid to have something for early aggression because if they sit back and farm, all my, my money is on EG. Okay, maybe not all my money, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, my money is on EG. A reasonable amount of money which doesn't them, push. I believe in them a lot. A reasonable amount of money that doesn't put me in financial debt is, <laughs> is how much. They're just gonna smoke. Maybe with a kill they could transition into something else, but Centaur ulti, and they do find him. And look at DK, he pops up the haze through, the Shacklers are holding him here, and the Centaur stomp, and now Batrider jumps in. They'll bring the imp down, but Invoker being dragged up, the catcher is there, destruction, he's still caught inside this Firefly, Flame Break, pushing Coin, but back in again. It pairs finally up for way too sexy, but they lose one for one. The two mid solos go Moonlight so Shadow. They're gonna get the Hex off on Luna right now, and that means a Ward Trap can also come up. Did he get it right? He did. Shackles hold him there, Sunstrike for the bonus damage and Luna trying to cut through pops the egg. Wait, whoa, 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 Mason. <laughs> he was hoping Shadow Shao was staying close with a kill, but he ends up just popping the eclipse and dying inside of a ward trap. I like how Demon just peeks in a little bit at the end, like, you're still there? Okay. And then he walks away again. And you know, I keep coming back to bottom lane. Shadow oh, Shaman, lane. Hex War Trap. This time PPD will die. No matter what happens with him, Demon is so sneaky on this hero. In the rush pit right now because of how strong the bottom is and how close Tempe is. Artis is in trouble. Got the ulti up, but now it's just going to put it on corner. Disruption from PPD saves him from the disrupt. Uh, saves him from the Invoker Sunstrike, and now he turns it over. The purge is over on Shadow Shaman, and that's a three kill streak, which will now be taken by the DK. Bulba comes back in again. He's taken so much damage to the double edge. He loses his own life. They have mass serve mods right now that have this already. Now the big, big blink dagger in. TC's already been dragged back. Aegis and more triggered instantly in the clips though. Big ways to demon. Whoa, he comes in. Loses a lot of his life points, but they do at least break down. Well, yeah, they will. They will. They still haven't. Mason's inside the wards. They just let him attack from inside the wards. Way too finally turns into him, but then it just gives so much space for DPS. And now with a breathe fire, they gotta try and find Koifa. He's running down south while Enchanter's is running away in the other direction. Invis turns around and now Breathe fire goes the wrong direction. Detection somewhere, somewhere. Oh, goes for this kill. No, they saw it. They, they saw the effect. He's, he's going to DP out. Oh, they got oh, on with the ward. The observed wards on the hill. They saw him around the corner. For he's got a BKB and same with the DK. Now arrow will come in easily evaded. That rider is over the cliff line too. Blink lasso, and he got one. And he dragged him all the way in. It's Koifa. The Eclipse to go with the BKB. Centaur will evaporate as well as TC. The biomass come from Invoker. He needs to have it right now as they push through bottom lane. Gets the RK boost from PPD. And now the Frost Dragon is up. Now also, Blink in, stuns up. They give TC out this one. Remember, all they want is the tower down, but they got a ball. They got Bulber again. The last two again. Universe able to hunt him out. The Mass Serpent wants to go down, but they're going in so deep. The Eclipse is gone, and they just turn off to the Mass Serpent ones. They get rid of all of the DPS of Team Liquid. PPD is just hovering around looking at TC. Forced up to wait. The tower's about to go down, and now the glaze will start to bounce. There's no blinking in. In fact, there's a blinking in coming in from the, from the Raid King. Nicely disjointed by uh, Invoker himself, but they're looking up to way too sexy. Dragon Tusk on Koipa, Frost Dragon. There's no brief fire mana for him, but the Lucid Beam from Luna will take the kill. Up to way too sexy. Raid King almost dead, but it's enough. Untouchable, not making it easy, but this is GG. This will be bottom racks. This will be mid towers. And uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it coming out from Liquid. The fun from Demon, but this game is over at EG. They have a two game advantage right now here in the best of, or the one game advantage coming in the best of five. One victory will send them to Frankfurt for the ESL 1 Grand Final. Very well played game. I, again, I have to commend Liquid on their early game. I think they're playing such a great early game, but there just seems to be something lacking in their strategy or the way they transition into the mid game, which it seems like they have to work on because in game number one, they have an excellent early game. They make mistake in mid game and lose two. They have a good early